Hello, my name is Zach Jones. I'm a senior product manager here at Bitly, and I'm excited to walk you through our new analytics dashboard. So let's start with a walkthrough. The visual elements that make up the dashboard are called modules. By default, we include important information such as performance over time, the referrers or where links are being clicked, location, and top performing links and QR codes. Each module can be customized and users can add as many as they'd like. Let's use refers as an example for how they can be edited. Clicking the three dots brings up the menu to adjust the module. From here, users can adjust the chart type, meaning what type of data is being displayed, as well as the visualization for how that information is shown. In this case, I'm curious to see what channels most users are clicking my links from, and I'd like to have that listed out. So I'm gonna to switch to the bar chart click Save and see that updated. In addition to what information is displayed, users are also able to select what time period that data is shown for, so they can really hone in on the effects of their campaign. By default, the dashboard shows data for all of a user's links or QR codes. But what about when they wanna narrow in on links for a specific campaign? Users can add filters, or they can search by the title they gave their link, its destination URL, or the customized short version. In this case, I can search for links associated with my year-end roundup and add those to the dashboard. Our goal is to make the dashboard as customizable as our users would like. You can move the modules around, delete ones you no longer need, and quickly re-add any you might want back. Now that I have my dashboard filtered to my latest campaign, I'm ready to share these insights with my coworkers. Each module can be exported in a range of image formats to be ready to add to presentations. In addition, the data itself can be downloaded in a CSV to combine with other sources for detailed analysis. Let's take a look at what that CSV looks like. From here, I have access to my top performing links, showcasing the link title, short URL, destination, and when those links were created, as well as the clicks and scans for each of them so that I can combine that data with other sources for more detailed analysis. That was a quick showcase of our new analytics dashboard. The exciting piece is this is just the start. As we continue to update these analytics, we'll bring even more exciting features in the future.